Well, Natalia, how are you? Matt Fred, doing well. Oh, good. Take, take two. Yes, so, take two. Um, so I, we've only exchanged text messages about what I'm asking you to do next year on this channel. We've actually yeah. not spoken about it. So uh -huh. I don't know how much you resent what you've agreed to do. Yeah, I don't resent it yet. Do you want to hear? It's actually a fascinating story of it. what happened when you reached out. Okay. And so, we should also tell people what I asked you since I haven't even brought that up yet. <laughs> okay. Should you should you say that first? Well, okay. I very much, we have Father Pine who does these weekly videos on Pines with Aquinas and he's so terrific. And I thought well, it would be wonderful if we had Mother Natalia doing something similar. <laughs> I wonder if she'd be open similar. to it. Similar. That's a nice word. <laughs> similar, <yeah. laughs> Mother Natalia, who's very much not an intellectual and um, who wears black instead of white. Well, and that's true. Who, a woman instead things. of a man and yeah. yeah and doesn't have a beard which is good um <laughs> if you would do weekly videos well father pine now has a beard yeah right? i understand I the doing. context yep. anyway and 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 i th you wrote back you said something i think you said let me pray about it and then you got back with 18 questions <laughs> about what would need to happen if this yeah. was going to go so okay yeah so how did okay. you receive it so i was uh i was at a theology of the body course uh that was being taught by Father Boniface, mm -hmm. a mutual friend of ours, and when you reached out. Ah, I didn't um, know that. Mm -hmm. And so I got your message, and I went, ha! <laughs> and then I laughed a lot. And then I just kind of heard the Lord like, why are you laughing? And I was like, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, oh, no. <laughs> and then, uh, yep, so that's actually what happened. And then I, I prayed about it all week, and I was like, I'm not talking to Mother Cecilia about this this week. I'm just going to let... Because we were all, um, all of the life professionals who are not on sabbatical were at this retreat. So uh, I was like, I don't want to interrupt her retreat. I'm just going to pray about this on my own. Um, I mentioned it to Father Boniface. He didn't quite laugh like I did. And um, so then, and I was like, did you know about this? And he was like, not exactly. And I was like, okay. Um, and then when I get back to the monastery and I talk to Mother Cecilia about it, and I gave her all of the information. She was like, you know, it's really interesting because when you first told me, I was just like, ha, and then something in me. And I was like, mm -hmm. said, why are you laughing? Yeah. And so, uh, so then well, why did she we have had that kind reaction? of, um, because we just were like trying to do less and uh -huh. there's just so much going on and I already have a lot of obediences and a lot of work and it's just one more thing. Um, but I think it's really in line with the desires um, that I have and what I feel like the Lord is asking of me, like the vocation within the vocation. Um, it's really, I love to share the treasures of the East um, and to be able to stay at the monastery. Uh, and this is a way that I can do both of those things. But yeah. And so then, but I was kind of like, well, before I brought it to Mother Cecilia, I was like, okay, I feel like the Lord has given me a strange openness to this, mm. which I was surprised by. Um, but surely Mother Cecilia is going to say no. So I kind of get the best of both worlds yes. of like, I've surrendered and I also don't have to do it uh, because I'm very scared of like public speaking. Um, and then Mother Cecilia didn't say no. And, but she and I came up with kind of like all of these nuances or whatever and i was like well surely when matt hears this he's gonna be like absolutely not and then you were like yeah okay all those things are fine yeah. um so i don't know that's, that's wonderful that's the story mm -hmm. yeah good stuff no i'm really excited you've got a real gift and i know it's going to be a blessing to many people out there mm. That's funny because I think if I were you, I would have been really offended by who you who 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 was it that laughed? Um, Mother Cecilia. Like, no, I can laugh. You can't. <laughs> why would you laugh? I know why I'm laughing. Why are you laughing? <laughs> so, all right. So this. So and then I said to you today. Okay, so we can either like bring cameras and like. Do you have a place in the monastery we can set stuff up? We've thought about a couple places. Okay. Yeah. And that's you have the space. We're not inconveniencing you by. I think because you so. wouldn't be able to move lights or it would be it would be annoying if you. Once had it set up, yeah, had yeah. to break it down. And right. Yeah. Now we understand that. Okay. Um, although the thought of coming out here and being able to see Thursday is yeah. pretty cool because Thursday and our, our good friends, you know. Well, there you go. <laughs> you, you, you we kind of we kind of vibe. You need a spiritual son. You might need another one, and this could be your excuse. You could come out here. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. We need to have spiritual I'm direction. One hundred and. 35% down for that. I don't want to pick that number. <laughs> that was such a very specific really 
the thing to say. Yeah, I am 135%. We could pray about that now, too. All right. And I get to see Peter Frad anytime I come into town. Oh, so. I, that'd be wonderful. Yeah. Well, we'll see. You, 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 can, at least you can at least ask and think about what you would like to do, and we'll, right. do, we'll, yeah. do, we'll do whatever. I'm and by we, I mean the Thursday. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. So tell me more about the what's... royal we, meaning Thursday. That's right, but, <laughs> yes, it doesn't even match up. Uh, what's going on with you guys, your monastery lately? Um, well, we have, um, as you, as you know, we have, um, a new hegumena. We've, um, had an election this past July. And so that transition is happening. We are, um, we just got new obediences and that's been, I don't know what that means. Pretty neat. Oh, the obediences are, it's like the monastic word for chores basically. So like whatever, the hegumena or the abbess um, mm-hmm. gives us to to do at the monastery. So like, nice. um, so yeah, the pints with Aquinas feature, whatever that's called, um, I, I will be one of this, those obediences. When I thought pints with Aquinas, I thought, well, she might not be comfortable saying pints or More Aquinas. So the Aquinas. <laughs> <laughs> right? so I was like, hmm, I do okay. believe Thomas Aquinas is the same. Let's <laughs> just, just put that be out clear. there before everyone um, gets really angry. <laughs> but okay, so that's what you mean. Okay, yeah. good. good. Um, and you have a big banquet coming up? Or? Yeah. Uh, well, one of my, that's actually appropriate because one of my obediences is I'm one of the event planners. So yeah, we're doing a ton of planning for that. So November 4th, um, we have our annual bridegroom's banquet, mm. which is our annual fundraiser. So everyone I can, loved it. I was there last year. Yeah. It was um, really great. With Cameron Kami. was the MC last yes, year. Yes, that's right. Did you forget that she was the MC? I did. Yes. <laughs> she did a fantastic job. I remember job. you sidling up to me at one point saying, she's pretty funny. For a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. Um, <laughs> and I was like, the wound is too fresh, mother. It was that weekend. It was that weekend. Anyways. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. So we have our, our annual banquet um, coming up in November. So, yeah, if if listeners want to uh, attend the banquet or mm. donate online, we have a matching funds donor up to 100000 That is so, excellent. So, um, yeah. So yeah, you can do that. Our website is ChristTheBridegroom.org and there's a bridegroom's banquet tag there. Okay, we'll put a, so. oh, is there a link specifically? Maybe yeah. you could find that link mm-hmm. and put it up. Um, I already and then found it. That's one if we got 100,000 matching. When can people start giving or do, can they start giving they now? They can already start now. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I would encourage people to come if they can because it's just, it's I mean, riot. you were there, like it's, it's super fun. Really it's not like fun. other fundraisers. Yeah. No, I often say that y'all, the, y- your monastery, uh, you're like the female friars of the renewal. Mm-hmm. Like whenever I'm with a fries, we've just actually so gotten that comment many and, times. Yeah. And <laughs> just human and wild and funny. Y'all are like that. It's, it's real fun. So, so that's good. All right. Yeah, cool. So. Thanks so much.